What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether grind here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from XXLZZZZZ1-O Trash Kid. And he said he wants to get the AK-74U done on Firebase. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Also in that comment, he said something about Tony Hawks and the stepdads. But we're going to jump over that into the point where he says that uh, I didn't have my comment there uh, with all the weapons that we need to do. And I could have sworn I put it down and I, I actually did, but I didn't pin it. So that's completely on me. I'm sorry about that. It probably makes it very confusing to leave your suggestions. So I'm going to put a screenshot of the comment in the video right here uh, just to make sure that I get it in there in case I forget to put it in there or forget to pin the comment. All right. Okay, so for our optic today, we're going to change it up a bit and use the Microflex LED. For our muzzle, we're going to go with the KGB Eliminator. For our barrel, we're going to go with the Task Force Barrel. For our body, I think we're going to just go with the Tiger Team Spotlight. For our under barrel, we're going with the Bruiser Grip. Our magazine, uh, let's just get the 50 round drum. Speed tape for our handle. And let's go with the, I guess the PKM stock, right? Yeah, why not? And really quick for our camo progress, we have 1,620 kills with it. So we're going to need to get uh, about 1,000 more, a little less than that. Uh, we only have 878 crits, so we're going to have to get a lot there. Brush stroke, only 1,075. Vintage is done, Fauna is done, Topo is done, and we still need to unlock Infection, but that's only two levels away, so it shouldn't be too bad. And then for our field upgrade, we're going to be going with Ring of Fire. So let's go ahead, hop on Firebase Z and try to get this thing done. All right, here we go. Driving on in. Twin still copying my drip, but that's all right. I dress like me too, but I, it's been a bit since I've used the 74U in zombies. I don't even remember if we ever made a video on the 74U because when I'm, I was looking up to make a thumbnail for our stream, like if you guys don't know, we normally stream us getting the weapon that we're going to get Dark Aether. Like we stream us leveling it up, but I was looking through trying to find an old thumbnail with the 74U so I didn't have to take the time and like cut it out, you know, reuse assets, you know, in the classic zombies fashion. But I, I couldn't find one. So I don't know if I've done a video on the 74U in zombies before, but I know for sure that I've gotten it uh dark aether but while we're on the topic of this stream while we're leveling it up uh we got into a game where somebody had the scythe early and they they were nice enough to drop it for us so if you guys want to see a little bit of like scythe gameplay it's nothing too crazy if you just want to see what it looks like in game all that's good stuff what it's uh pack a punch name and everything is in there uh if you just go to the end of our stream like probably like 10 15 minutes towards the end uh you should see the gameplay there just in case you guys are curious let's go ahead and open this up and make our way up i'm dr pack i'm a little bitch yeah, whatever, dude. We get it. Oh, double points? Don't mind if I do. I cannot control accuracy on this thing to save my life. It seems like every time I'm hopping on here, I'm talking about how awful I am on controller. And it has not changed. Uh, I've been messing around with my controller settings a lot. And I feel like I'm never using something long enough to be like comfortable with uh, my settings. I feel like this happened also when I started playing like computer games and I'm trying to figure out sensitivity for that. I think my horizontal sensitivity needs to be a little faster than my vertical. So that's what I'm trying out now. And I'm using like legacy aim assist. I really don't know like what to do with the controller, honestly. I rely so heavily on Deadshot that it do not matter here in zombies. But uh, we're lacking a bit on our crits early here. Let's get this open, grind the rail. Perfect. Grab this loose change and let's start up our reactor. But since I don't ever remember making a uh, AK-74U video, I can't find any evidence of me doing it. I don't know if I've ever used it against Orda. Well, first, this reactor is done. Let's move on to the next. I am kind of concerned that this thing won't have the damage range to be able to take out Orda. A, a lot of SMGs have taken out Orda just fine, but I had to get a few extra levels for this thing in multiplayer and it felt like it could hardly shoot across like Amsterdam. Uh, the the 6v6 map so i guess we'll see when the time comes uh i'm i'm hoping it can hold its own because it seems like a pretty decent weapon it's got a nice fire rate it does good damage at least up close i wasn't having like any issues with it didn't seem weak at all but i guess we'll find out once we start getting into those higher rounds and i always forget to like make a second like build for whatever weapon i'm using just to have like the armor piercing barrel for when we hit like round 35 and up and we start seeing more armored zombies because it's so helpful once you get up there, especially on Firebase C when there's that many manglers, that many armored zombies. It, it feels like you need a ring of fire to survive if you're not using any of those armor piercing attachments. And our second reactor is done. I almost died there. I don't know what it is with me in early rounds and trying to go down, but it seems to be becoming more common. You think I'd get better, but I'm better at these rail grinds. I completely whiffed it. I jumped right over it. Hold on. One more. There we go. It seems like I always have to at least hit one rail twice. I, I don't think I've perfected any rails in a single game. All right, let's get our third and final reactor on and let's fill it up. 
Uh oh, I'm already like out of ammo. But do I want to buy ammo? Nope, because there's a max ammo right there. Let's go. Good thing I contemplated for a second. There's not many times where max ammos are like helpful and they're not, you know, there when you need it, in, at least in Cold War. But that time, it couldn't have been any better timing. Anyways, we got our power on. Let's go get this thing pack a punch. Go ahead and turn on that machine rabbit off and let's grab it. This is what the AK-74U looks like with Pack-A-Punch, but let me inspect. I uh, really don't like the first Pack-A-Punch came up, but the coverage looks pretty good. For one of the base game weapons, it do not look bad. Also, the Pack-A-Punch name is the AK-74 No FU, meaning that you don't fuck and you get no bitches. Nice little Easter egg there. But now we're going to do the thing where I sit here near Pack-A-Punch and near the Wonder Fizz. Actually, hold on. Give me one second. Let me turn off. These subtitles had them on for the Easter egg. If you guys haven't seen the video of me doing the Easter egg here for the second account, you should check that out. But uh, now this is where we start to sit here by pack a punch and try to gain points and get perks. And we'll eventually go down and have to get them again. But I'm knocking on wood, so it's not going to happen. I think we're going to grab a few perks before we go ahead and do our bunny Easter egg. And that way the price of our perks don't go up. We probably should have been doing this like the whole time, but I don't learn easy. I'm not one of them thinking guys. Let's go ahead and grab dead shot. Now, crits should be a breeze. Oh, wait, hold on. Am I playing chess right here? No way he's got him set up in Cum's Gambit. Oh, not an insta-kill. I gotta make sure every shot is on the dome. Can't miss at all. Oh, what? That His head literally came off. How's that not a critical kill? Well, Joe, it's insta-kill. You know their head's always gonna come off no matter where you shoot him. Okay, well, that bullet was very close to his head. I think he should have died by uh, a critical kill. You know what? Let's take out this whole horde. Oh, that's nice. Double points dropping for one zombie left in the round. Perfect. Love to see that. And what should we get next? What would be most useful? Probably mule kick, maybe. And let's get speed cola. And then next we'll get mule kick. That way we don't run out of ammo, but speed cola will help us get our field upgrade back fast and help us reload a little faster. Even though I feel like speed cola is not crazy effective in Cold War, unless you're using like speed mags. If I was using speed mags, I don't think I'd have like a hundred bullets in each mag. Unless there's a 50 round speed mag, is there? There has to be, right? Maybe I just don't have it unlocked. What's up, Mimic? Later, Mimic. Thanks for dropping by. All right, now we get death perception. Hi, I lied. I'm not getting meal kick yet. All right, now let's get meal kick. And I'm gonna go do the bunny Easter egg before this round starts. Come here, bunny. Come on. We don't got time. Please look at me. Thank you. Uh oh, they're coming. Bunny, please. Please. Thank you. Zombie, stop hitting me. Really. Don't knock me. I'll be pissed. Thank you. Go ahead. Hit the gritty. Okay. All right. All right. First bunny is down. Bunny number two. How do you do? See you later. Bunny number three. Hasta luego, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Same with all you zombies. Now check this out. Ray K. First try. Easy. Oh! I called it. Let's go. I've been getting really good luck on these uh, jug Easter eggs recently. I got the ray gun twice on D machine. And now we got the ray K here. Would have been nice for the Easter egg. Took me a while to get it there. Now we're back to the grind. Honestly, this seems like a gun we can use the rampage inducer on. Oh, thanks, Core. Appreciate it. Like, I feel like it's got enough firepower, fire rate, and ammunition to like keep up. So maybe we try it today. There's been uh, the last few times where we're like, hey, let's do the rampage inducer. And then I don't do it because I get scared. But maybe we do it today. And since no zombie wants to be nice and drop me armor, I'm going to upgrade my weapon. Ha. Huh. See, I already got the game jinxing itself, thinking, oh yeah, drop armor on the next zombie. So that way I don't have to pay for it. One of these zombies is going to drop it. But if it don't drop it this round, I'll buy it. I'm just trying to jinx the game out like we did with the max ammo earlier. And with the, the Ray K, we're actually like two for two. Oh, there it is. Let's go. I told you. I... I must have like a crystal ball or something. Crystal balls? That'd be kind of sick. Get camos on the nuts. Like the actual nuts, not just the emotes. All right, let's grab quick revive. I'm throwing cryo freeze on here. And once we get our first assault wave, I'll turn on the rampage inducer and we'll just try to survive. There's our assault wave. All right, first, can we get anything else? We don't need any more perks. We already have cryo freeze on here. Uh, Let's upgrade our armor to three. Probably will be useful if we're using the rampage inducer. And let's turn it on. What's up, Mimic? Little bitch. If she wants some, there you go. Where are they all at? Absolutely slaughtered. Go to sleep. Get out of here. And goodbye. See you later. No zombie left unkilled. This first assault wave is always just such a joke. We're like already basically done. There's like, what, 15 zombies left? And see ya. Easy. Let's grab these. And now let's go run over to weapons lab and try to grind in there. Hopefully we can survive. I think we'll be able to. We haven't even like used our ring of fire yet. Let's try it out. 
absolutely just dismantling the whole horde. And the round's already over, basically. Oh, there's our drench camo. 1,500 kills with it while it's packed. There's a lot more that came from. Uh-oh, ring of fire time. Got no ammo in it. Uh, stun's going out. Ooh, it's already rough in here at round 15. I just gotta time my ring of fire is a little better and just not touch insta-kills at all. Are we even level 50 with our gun yet? I see jackrabbit, like, metals popping up, but I don't see no jackrabbit camos. Was that a double points? Give me that. Oh, we have more than enough to get pack-a-punch. I'll wait till our next uh, assault wave. I think we can survive until then. Knock on wood. There we go. There's level 50. I was just talking about you. Actually, one zombie left. Let's just go do it. Do we have enough to pack it twice? I think we do. Let's go ahead. Grab pack two. This is what pack a punch two looks like on the AK-74U. Kind of nasty. The green looks very nice, but let's go ahead and throw on pack three and see the best pack a punch camo on this map, at least. Looking spiffy. Zombie, fuck off. Oh, in the assault wave. Let's go. All right. So I was going to grab PhD, but uh, I am pretty broke. So let's just go to our assault wave, I guess. Oh, wait, Mimic, you want to give me money? You gonna give me money for PhD? How much did it cost? Probably 7,500, right? Oh, wait. Another Mimic? Give me money. Oh, let's go. Thank you, Mimics. No longer broke. Now we gotta go the long way because I can't afford this door. The machine guns from all the way back here sound like a cat purring. All right, let's go ahead and stop hurting this thing. Thanks. Leave it alone. Zombies, come on back. You don't need to be back here. You know, let's just ring a fire. Why not? And there's our corrosion camo. Easy jackrabbit. And I think our assault wave is just about done. Let's go. Grind the rail on the way back. Let's go. Can I upgrade anything? Oh, let's get this to purple. That's about all we can do though at the moment. I'll take a quick damage buff. Oh, there's double points too. Please let me grab those. I gotta fight my way to them. There we go. Throwing out a stun during the double points. Easy. Joke's on you zombies. Getting even more points. This spot is so satisfying when you're set up. Oh, there's threshold, 1,500 crits. So we're at uh, 1,640. I think we'll be done. But when you're like fully set up in this spot, like you have all your perks, your guns maxed out. It feels good. Like you just tear through rounds of zombies like it's nothing. There's our contamination camo, still moving up. And rotten, we're all done with our normal kills. There's our glitch. We're almost done. Nope, stun. Bars. And there's our conviction. We're all done with our jackrabbits. That was pretty easy and fast. Can we get this thing to gold? Let's go. All right. Our AK's at max potential now. And we got our armor fully repaired. There's nothing stopping us now. We're all the way up. Oh, there's our chemical camel. We're all done with pack-a-punch kills. That was fast. And we're not too far away from crits, actually. Uh-oh. We're very close to death. Closer to death than we are to crits. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Run! Ooh, see, I could have used my ring of fire in there and saved me, but uh, I'm trying to save this for Orda. Orda's not getting off easy. Oh, jeez. Let go of me, Mimic. And if he shows up the next round, it'll all be worth it. I'll be, I'll look like a genius. Right about now. Wait, there's one more zombie. And... Okay, never mind. These are the the mind games Orda plays with me. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Use that ring of fire. You're not going to have it for me. Guess what, bitch? I will. Fuck it, I'm using it. I'll get another one back before Orda shows up. I'm sure of it. There he is. There's that rat bastard. All right, let's go see what the 74 you can do against him. All right, Orda. Another day, another weapon you're getting shredded by. Hopefully this has enough range to get to him. I think it, it, it might. It might. If other SMGs can do it, why can't the 74 you? And he's going to spawn right here. His little wormhole. Do it. Show it. Oh, it's close. A little below. All right, popping it. Oh, 1500 per shot. Where is he? It's so hard to see him right when he spawns. 1800 now with the dead shot bonus. Uh-oh. My aim. There he is. There's our big strong man. It doesn't quite hit over 2k damage, but its fire rate and its ammunition kind of make up for it. But without ring of fire, it's hitting 1,000 flat. I think that's with all the bonuses. Like all the dead shot bonuses. Okay, let's kill some zombies for a second here. Get our ring of fire back. Get some camo progress while we're at it. Or does not a threat. Oh, we unlocked the... Ugh. Or the... Oh, he's about to crit. 2,000 damage. Let's go. 2016 damage. Fire year. Oh, zombies. Come on. While he's critting, you're going to do this? You're really going to do this? Can I get a ring of fire back, please? There we go. We got a ring of fire. Zombies, get on the decoy or get stunned or something. Ring of fire time. Yeah, go ahead and scream. No one's going to hear your screams. You're just going to be sleep. Does the gun shoot slower with one bullet? It might, but it don't matter because Orda's dead. Later, bitch. I even took the time to get some crits during our during our little fight here, Orda. Our little squabble. How do you feel? Yeah, go ahead. Take a few more steps, then disappear. 
Yeah, idiot. Oh, you spawned in a few more zombies for me. Thanks. In crazy camo progress against you, pal. Oh, it's already round 34? I didn't even realize. I thought we were fighting them in like 32 or something. We're making it pretty deep into this game. This thing absolutely tears. Nasty weapon. Definitely need some armor piercing now, though. That's for sure. These manglers just take forever to kill. Oh, there's gold viper. We got it. This has been one of the faster uh, dark aethers we've gotten on a weapon. This gun just tears. Oh, and we finally went down. It took that long. Whatever. I'm running for the exfil. Maybe we can still make it. Please don't go away on me. Let's go. Let's get out of here. But it took 2,078 kills, 1,642 crits. I'm grabbing Gersh's and I'm going down. I'm using my self-revive. I'm buying another. Ain't no way I'm dying here. We literally did not go down until after we got uh, Dark Aether. So this is a success, even though we're going down again here. Let's wait for all of them to get out of the door. We're not going to lose anything by crawling. Well, we're going to drop speed call a big whoop. And right, where all the zombies go? Are they all out there looking for me? Either way, Gersh and I'm dead. All right. Well, I mean, it did pretty well up until round 35. So if you're hopping in, make sure you got a blueprint that's got some armor penetration on it because it gets serious real quick with that rampage inducer. But we didn't do bad. We got it done pretty quick. All right, let's take a look at what the AK-74U looks like with these mastery camos. Here's Golden Viper. That's honestly not too bad. Really good coverage here. Kind of wish it was on the mag, but it's it's tasteful. It looks pretty good. Uh, the top part where like the wood is supposed to be on the gun is actually covered. I've seen some guns where they don't put Gold Viper over just uh, the plain wood on there, and I don't understand why, but they did it here. Looks very nice. Plague Diamond always got that good coverage. I don't think there's any weapon out there that looks bad with Plague Diamond or Normal Diamond. I think the coverage is just pretty universally good. Good. And Dark Aether, that's pretty nice too. It has less coverage than Gold Viper for some reason. They decided not to do the whole front here, but it does not look bad. Maybe there's some attachments we can throw on here to change up the, the coverage. Oh, okay. So if I change it to the extended barrel, it does it. And then if we do the VDV Reinforce, it does it on the bottom. The Liberator has the whole thing. And this, the rifle only has the top and the Task Force has bolts. So that's pretty cool. Are there any magazines that get coverage? Not looking like it. Well, maybe this one. Let's see. Nope. Sometimes the blueprints get different coverage than just normal attachments. But let's go ahead, hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right. This is what the AK-74U looks like with Dark Aether in game. And this gun's actually really good for being a base like weapon in the game, like a, a weapon that came out with the game's release. A lot of them had a really bad coverage on it. The AK. Oh, hello. The AK-74U is not one of them. It looks great. And it seems like the way that this the pattern lays on the gun. You get a whole lot of that nice pink and purple looking uh, dark aether pattern on it and not a whole lot of the void except for right now. Uh, the second I'm talking about it, I'm getting it. But just give it a second. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> I, I have commentators curse even when it comes to my camo coverage. This is awful. All right, now look at it. Look at that. A little pink coming in there, going right across it. Looking beautiful, looking pristine. This is a good looking weapon and it didn't do too bad. But you definitely need those armor piercing points once you get to a certain uh, round. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, please follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to get to the point where I can ship post and get a lot of likes. So if you want to help out, that'd be great. But uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.